oh, that's a bright light. So I am currently making my morning shake. I'm sorry I did not video anymore yesterday, so I'm gonna combine them both together. So, um, or maybe I won't put yesterday's at all, because I was just talking like I always do. <laughs> so, but I did wanted to mention that today is my last day with the Prolessa for the seven day fat burner. I started it last Wednesday, I believe. So this is the where we put it. You have to shake up your shake first, and then when it's already completed, uh, almost complete or whatever, and when you have 10 seconds left, because this can only be blended within 10 seconds. So I'm gonna blend this up and do my tea. And I will see you guys in a bit. Hey guys, good morning, good morning. It's another day with me, Yoli's life. <laughs> so I am currently getting my car warmed up and cooled off. Having my shake. Last day of my prolessa. So I'm assuming this is what was ending me. Mm. I mean, I did need extra help anyway, so. Mm. Let's see how it goes. Maybe I'll order more. We'll see. gosh my hair I like had it kind of damp just a little damp from when I washed my face and so it looked really nice and I braided it because I, I washed my hair yesterday and I usually put gel on my hair because of these little hairs they come down they come out and they frizz up I just pulled the hair out of my These little hairs, they get all frizzy. Oh my gosh, just wait till after work. But this is already starting. Uh, this is why I hate my hair. And I, I hate that I have to wear stuff. I've tried lots of different things. And it only works for so long. And then I need something else because those little hairs even though they will be like oiled out, then they'll still come out. So again, I am on my way. I'm headed out. I'm going to work. This is the outcome of my hair without any gel in it. <laughs> all these little hairs just get all frizzy. Frizzy. I have it in a braid, in a French braid. And it was nice this morning, but they're all coming out. So I'm gonna wash my hands again because I keep touching my hair. Anyway, so what I'm going to be doing is... I bought this uh, beef Angus from Walmart. It's seasoned fajitas for fajitas. Um, I bought these for $5.13, $4.38, and $9.51. And then I bought some chicken breast. I was hoping to find some with season two, but I didn't. So this is $7.45. Um, so I'm going to be making, I was sticking between fajitas and uh, tortas. So, but the thing is I bought this one with this season. So I don't know, let's see how it comes out. But I bought stuff for tortas I'm too. Do for my tortas. I'm just going to make it out of these. I was going to go to a paneria, 
Uh, but I just like decided to get them at Walmart because it was only a dollar ninety eight for one bag, and there's like six in one. Um, so yeah, I just decided to get these, and then I bought some lettuce and tomatoes and avocados and onion, and I'm gonna butter, cause slice these in half, like uh, so, and then butter them and grill them on on the ends, on the inner sides. And I will have them ready so when the meat is done, I think I'm gonna do the meat first and then I will do the buds. Okay, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. Back, so. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the stove here and here. Uh, I got the right ones. Okay. So, I'm going to start off with the beef angus. Oh, I need to spray the pan. <coughs> I just got done drinking my lunch shake because I stopped at the store on my way home and it took a while because i got other stuff too so i've been running late for my lunches of uh, the past two days so just a second so my chicken is not marinated i'm just gonna cook this much because i know they're gonna eat more steak than the chicken so I'm, i always try to give choices so i'm gonna marinate my chicken so first i'm gonna start off with this salt Yes, I know this is a baking thingy, but I use this. Oh, I put too much salt, I think. So this is my salt. I'm gonna do some lemon pepper. And some chopped onions. It's not been open yet. Ah. Excuse me. Some chopped onions. Okay, I guess I should have turned it the other way. Okay, and some garlic powder. And I'm gonna do some soy sauce. <clears throat> Actually, I should do some lemon too. I got some limes from our barbecue the other day, so I'm going to try to use these. Oh, okay, so now I'm just going to give them a stir around. I don't know if I should just let them sit there for a little bit while I do the steaks to let them marinate a little. That's what I'd probably do. Oh, shoot. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the steaks. Since they are already seasoned, pans are hot. I'm gonna grill these, and then I'm gonna chop them up after <clears throat> to keep the flavor in. Here we go. Mm -hmm. And I got the carne asada. Let that grill, turn it over, and then cut it up. And I'll do the chicken. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this over. Look at that. Oh, I didn't cook all the way. That one did. I'm gonna wait for this side again. Okay, yep, that's good. I've added more lime to my chicken. I was just uh, mixing it up. Yeah, so I added more lime to my chicken. I'm just uh, letting it sit just a little bit longer. 
poking at it to maybe help the flavors. I don't know. So yeah, I'll be adding that soon. Okay. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut up my tomato and onions for sandwiches. Oh, it's actually what I'm going to be doing is tortas. I don't know if I said it or not, but one of my daughters um, was craving, or craving, was wanting to have some tortas. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Another one here, just in case. I know everybody doesn't like vegetables in this house. I mean, like, not all the vegetables. I do try my best to add vegetables in my recipes when I cook. But a lot of times I wouldn't see them eating the vegetables. Okay. Okay, so I think this one is about done. I don't know. Maybe just a little bit. Maybe. Let's go back to the vegetables. So, we do the onion. This bag of onion, I've been getting the red onions because they're cheaper. <laughs> it's in a bag and how much did I pay? I'll, I'll show you later. I think it's like a dollar something today. I should do a shop, uh, shopping haul, show you guys my shopping that I got today. Food. See what I do? Okay, so I've got my onion slices all ready. Just got to pull them apart like that. And I went ahead and have uh, gotten the lettuce already pre shredded from the salad area. They were like a dollar something. So yeah, I'm gonna put them in a container. Have them in the fridge ready for when I'm gonna have them build their sandwiches. The avocados, I'm gonna do them when I'm about to serve, the, uh, make the sandwiches because they will get brown on you. I know you can add lemon juice and the rest, but I rather just do. So, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my chicken. I'm waiting for the steak. Pans are already hot. anybody watch that part where my oven goes crazy. Sometimes it's too high, sometimes it's too low. It just makes it the own way. <laughs> so I don't want these to dry out, so I'm going to go ahead and take these off now. They just kind of stick. 
so I'm just going to take it off now. I'm going to make one more trick. There we go. Checking on my chicken, but it's not coming yet, I think. Oh, the stove is kind of already getting hot. I mean, the pan. I mean, it was a little too hot. So I'll turn them over. I can cook on my plate. Okay, I'll be right So back. my chickens are almost done. I don't want to cook them too long because I don't want them to dry out. Right here, ready, cooked. I have one more tray, but I'm going to save it. So I got the steaks and the chicken out. I think I'm not going to cut them yet until I'm ready to put them on a sandwich. That way the juices can stay in together. Otherwise, it dries out really quick. So I'll try to hurry up and make my sandwich. Okay, so I'm going to teach you who don't know how to slice the bread. And butter the bread. And I'm going to butter my brush. And I just, well, I'm not showing you. I butter it like this. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to put it on the grill. Okay, I'm just going to show you just this time. Put it on there and let it grill. I'm going to go get another so one. So I turned them over. This one wasn't done yet, but these are, and I'm turning them over just to grill them on the other side, just to get them a little browned. This one's already done, but I'm waiting for the other one. Let's see, it seems to not be grilling right. Maybe I'm going to rotate them here. So that's how you butter them and then you grill them. Turn them over. Oops, they already broke, but that's okay. So that's how you grill the breads. I'm going to take them off. Let me check on this one first. No. Still need to put it up. Okay, so I'm going to build this torta. Let's see. It's the bottom. I think this is the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put some meat. And some onions. Yeah, I don't know. How do you know? Can you ask me what do you need? What do you need to? When? When we're on our way. But you know, upstairs. Hmm? And some avocado. Mm. Mm. How do I get this one? And oh, lettuce. This is the lettuce I got at Walmart for $1.40 something, I think it was. Shredded lettuce. It's not actually. And... Voila! And here is the sound. Steak, onions, tomatoes, avocados, and lettuce on a grilled bun. And we're going to eat with chips. Oh, not me. They're going to eat with chips. I'm going to use romaine lettuce instead of the bun. Hey guys, so my romaine lettuce were all little smar small pieces. So I just went ahead and laid them all on a plate and just sprinkled the chicken and onions, tomatoes, and avocado. 
and I'm going to add some I think I'm gonna just add some pico de gallo and some um, salsa or something I don't know so yeah these are going to be my somewhat uh, sandwich thing so yep there you go and I'm gonna call it a night thank you guys for watching you guys have a blessed night and I will see you guys tomorrow.